My father was a strange, strange man, always chasing pleasure, a hedonist at heart. And because of it, my mother, who had a similar predilection herself, told me when I was young not to expect to see him again, that he was likely gone forever. My two younger brothers died before I could remember. Mother says they died to the measles in a plague that almost killed me because it almost killed her while I was in her womb. But I survived, and my father would send me letters. The first contained money and little else. The later ones seemed to show that he had affection towards me, even if he wasn't willing to express it directly. So both my mother and I were terribly surprised when he sent us a letter saying that he would like us to join him in the camp, that he had arranged a marriage for me to a countess's daughter of all things, and that he wished for an opportunity to raise me himself. Mother was shocked, but she had long since fully gotten over his flight. And I think to some degree, she wished to see him again in a different context, you know, as a man, not a lover. And she was happy with Bartholomew. They had a daughter, my half sister, a nice enough girl, and I got to know my father. It felt tragic that just as I was becoming a man and just as I felt like I was getting to know him, we were separated again. Though I think that this separation ultimately was good for me. It allowed me to become my own man. Hello and welcome, friends. We are here once again with Dimitri, our lovely man. He, I have an idea. We're gonna, we're gonna change how we do things slightly. We're gonna try to get our son married to her heir and daughter. In order to do that, we need to get a hook on her. But the first thing we gotta do is we're gonna move our camp to here because my hope is not only will we be able to pick up this um, this location here for its intrigue experience, but we'll also, we will also maybe after crossing the sea be close enough to, to legitimize our two remaining illegitimate children. This is all good stuff. I did want to look at this. The only one of these we really are thinking of doing at all is the travels. We would have to really focus this down, but we can easily get the 26. And we're going to get the Exalted Among Men. To get the 26, what we can do is when we finally leave, we can go someplace where there's lots. Like there's tons in Spain. There's tons in England. I don't know if we want to go to England because I played a lot in England. I think we're probably going to end up setting, settling somewhere on the Mediterranean. I mean, I love an island, but uh, I don't think that it's likely that we could get something that cool. You know, also, I, I kind of liked Georgia. Like maybe maybe something on the Black Sea instead of the Mediterranean Sea, because Georgia was fun. I do f did feel good about being there. I don't know. There's also Spain. I was thinking of Spain, like the Mediterranean coast of Spain here. France on the coast would be cool. Even right where we are in Italy would be okay. It's hard to say, but we're just going to do what we're doing right now. So our goal here first is to get over there. Then we're gonna try to get, do so good at this hired muscle contract that she gives us a, um, that she gives us a hook. If she gives us a hook, we can guarantee the marriage. If she doesn't give us a hook, hopefully we can get the gallant perk so that we can get an extra 25 chance. Maybe that'll push it over. I don't want to spend 50 gold for an architect drawing. I don't, I don't think it's good enough. And we got tons of stuff to spend money on. You know, maybe she'll give us another job. Maybe there'll be more jobs over here. Maybe we can like cycle jobs here and find something for her. I'm also going to start doing some romances because now that we are a gallant, we don't just have to seduce. We're not going to stop seducing. We we want we want our women and then we want to have experiences with noble, sometimes married women that are different from what we could otherwise do. I wonder if this is going to take us because I would love to do this if it takes us back. So let's see. Let's see if we're right. Let's see if this is close enough. I think it is good. So we will legitimize the boy and we will legitimize his younger sister after, of course, it's been accepted. Nice. Now let's see about this travel contract. So where do you want me to go? Up to the Holy Roman Empire. Not far. Okay. Okay. Never mind. Real far. Real far, never mind. No, no, never mind. We don't want that. We don't want that contract. Maybe once we've settled here, we can go from here. Nurture? Perhaps we should consider another path. Yes. Try. Ah, uh, a little bit more wisdom. You are, you are, you're getting good, son. Look at you. 15 intrigue, 13 diplomacy. That's going to go down to 12, though. That's going to go down to 14. Travel is study in martial. I wouldn't mind some sparring. What's that contraption? This is 
raises my marshal by one. You should join me. This would be paying him and he might come. What does the sparring do? Increases our marshal higher chance. Let's do it. Nice. Nice. This is criminal. This is regale court. And we're going to do this. And our hope is that we carry it all the way to 20. Our hope is that we carry it all the way to 20, and that gives us a chance to get a really high success. We should also do maximum suggest success, because we don't care how long it takes. You can be muscle. You can be muscle. Cerno can be a bodyguard. Our outcast can be Sitzleva. And our footpad can be Fariza. Fariza de Grazio. This is the wife of Victor. 100% chance to succeed. 32 days per phase. That's a long time. Bah, I mean, maybe we stop at 10 and then go for it. Probably we stop at 10 and then we go for it. I also would like to, if you were into it, you know, I would like to romance you. You know, I will write you a love poem. Declaration of courtly love. Amazing. Our son... Still got his crush. She's trusting. She's got so many traits. How did you get so many traits? You kid. How do you get so many traits? I don't get it. <laughs> so many traits. If I can't get the hook, the alternative is that we, like I said, that we get the marshal up. That could happen from an event. There's lots of things that could happen between now and the uh, the end of our work that could lead to that could lead to us uh, being able to succeed martially. I would also like, once I have some money again, to upgrade our um, our pavilion so we can get another unit. Now, I have two people I can make requests from. One is Marina. We don't want to do that. That's for um, the marriage request. One is Matthias, this guy. We could just ask him for gold. It would help us out. He likes us a lot, so we might as well. He doesn't hate the fact that we took gold from him, so that's fine. That puts us at 89. At 200, we will be able to switch over and do the pavilion, which I think is good. This is abduct foe. Yeah, we don't, we don't want to be involved with abductions. Escort emissary. Oh, the, depending on where this is, this could be good. This is, of course, regale court, which is basically no money. They don't like to pay you for this. It's fine, I guess, but I'd prefer to be paid. You know, I'd prefer to be paid. If we can get the hook, it'll be great. If we can't get the hook, then it is... Well, let's just... We'll just have to figure it out, right? We will get paid for this either way. This is a paying job. We could also probably go to town. In fact, let's see if we can... I always click the, the tent instead of the town. We can always go to town and see if the town crier has anything for us. Martial duties, maybe? I think we're going to do martial duties because that's what we've been working on right now. And let's head back out. Oh, training. Interesting. That could also be useful. I'm not going anywhere right now. Thank you very much. There's also one here where we could be hired muscle. People do the training contract. This gives a hook on regular success. Hmm. Don't know how good we would be at this, though. I would say not terrible. But it might not be perfect. 14 Marshall isn't bad by any stretch. And we got people who are good at it, too. We're about to hit this on Cap. We're also about to finish our, our little scheme with her. So let's, first of all, tell her, hey, we would, like, uh, we would like to arrange a marriage, just in case we get the exceptional success. Execute scheme. Success. Regular success. So no hook. Okay, well, that's fine. She's paid us, and we've done a good job. Let's do this job for her. I think we can succeed at this. I sure hope we can. Uh, let me see those men. All right, so we had two guys that she wants us to deal with. Okay, could use someone like this myself. I don't want to steal him. Mari, give him a private lesson. 44% chance. Gerhard should just follow my moves. <sighs> he can't keep up. Hopefully this guy can figure it out. Jeez, we're not that bad, man. That was not our fault. I mean, he learned. Okay, we completed the contract. So we got half of them, so that, that was okay. That should mean... Oh, we get interrupted by romance. Honestly, I'm not sure what I expected. What, did you think that I was going to try to turn this into something salacious, something physical? No, I am just here to show honor to a beautiful lady 
in her court. That's all. Well, you do have something of a reputation. What kind of reputation, my lady? I am a gentleman, and the stories that you hear in the taverns should be left in the taverns. Oh, I suppose I was wrong about you. Well, this has actually been quite nice, considering how little attention I get from my husband. At which point, one sweet kiss will be my only reward. 75 prestige, and a little bit of niceness between us, and then after that, we will entice her to allow our son to marry her daughter with a hook. Nice. The strange part is that she still really likes us. That's, that's really weird. Usually, after we spend time with women, they don't like us much anymore. Uh, hmm. There we go. There we go. So we now have both of our sons married into, married to Countess's daughters, who will eventually inherit. That's good for us. That feels like we've done good by them. Now, the next thing we need to do is do good by our daughters. In order to do that, we probably need to get the marshal up because we can't be, we can't be like triple hooking every single person. I mean, we could, to be fair. Are there any other ladies around here? I mean, the Duchess is a lady, but I don't think we have, a, we'd have even the slightest chance with the Duchess. I don't think there's even like the tiniest possibility. She is way above our station. But if we can find another young lady who has a title, who we can seduce. Uh, not really anybody right now. Yeah, which means we're probably going to need to get our, uh, our plus 25. But we don't have to stay here to do that. Where could we go next? We could do this task here. Pretty sure we will succeed at this. It's a small amount of pay. But it'll be enough to be able to upgrade our pavilion. Once our pavilion is upgraded, we can get somebody to give us another military unit. So let's do a balanced. Let's pause. You could be the muscle, sir. You're you're okay at that. Also, oh, so can you, my giantess. Okay, now you can be the bodyguard. The foot pad can be Forizia. And Victor can be the lookout. Married couple working together. That's nice. Pretty nice. Kind of like that. Once we can upgrade our pavilion now that our sons are taken care of you know what else we should probably do but we should probably bring our son to the camp that will bring his mother with him that's uh that's brunhild she's cancer i think we bring her here i think we bring them here because um maybe mir can help her and if he can't i don't want our child to become a wanderer Right? Like, if Mir can help her, that'd be nice, but if he can't help her... If he can't help her... That's... tragic. Just lived long enough to bring her son to... his father to care for him. All right, so you are charming, which is actually really good for us, because it means we can also train you ourselves. Did I just literally... pick the wrong one? Luckily, he's still a little kid. <laughs> I can still switch it. Educate child, we will convert his faith. You know, we don't care about religion that much. And we don't want him to be Russian. He doesn't need to be Russian. He can just stay what he is. All right, so we have our son in our care, which is good because his mother just died and then he would have just been sort of let, let loose if that didn't happen. I want to try to sort of build towards having a bit of a military because eventually we are going to have to settle. We need money as well to do that. We're not really planning to settle for a few more years. There's probably some more, some more adventures in us. You know, we, we still got some, some young ladies, probably. You have any interesting courtiers? You don't. Your, your court is, oof. Oof, you are an old man. Well, I mean, you, your, your area is a republic, right? So they're gonna, you're just gonna like, it's gonna, go to somebody in an election, so... So that's a thing. Maybe... Maybe now that we're becoming Marshall, we should go to a conflict zone. There's always war... in the Empire, right? But also there's always war in Spain. Marshall lifestyle perk. Let's grab courtship. Get a little bit easier for us to do romances. This is just about done. It is at its cap, but we might as well let it go through one more time so we can hit the... 10. Success. There we go. So, some provisions. Some money. 
He's been added to our role of patrons. I am going to make a request for gold from him. He doesn't have much. Okay. We could ask for provisions. He won't do it. What if we give him a poem about legacy? Podesta Mariano. Yes. What is it? The adventurer who just served you. The prince Demetrius of the Rurikid. What of him? He has sent a poem. A poem? Yes, and the court is abuzz with it. It is a very fine poem. Uh, what does it say? Is it, is it flattering? Mostly. But there is some suggestion. Suggestion of what? Uh, that a man with a great legacy like you shouldn't be so stingy. Ugh, God damn that man. Send him his provisions. How does he feel about giving us provisions now? He will barely do it. Good enough. <laughs> Good enough. There's this guy? No, not him. I mean, we could seduce our first man. He has no family to speak of. It's just another grand city, so it's not really a thing that we could have much uh, interference with. So let's let's head back to the camp and think about what we're going to do a bit. First, we're going to upgrade the pavilion. Then we're going to see if anybody around here owes us anything. He does. I don't think we're going to push that. She doesn't owe us anything. We could see where this goes. I think that would be useful. You want us to go to Genoa. That's not far at all. That is not far at all. Okay. We will take your wife over to Genoa, but we will not bring the camp. We will intend to return after. Although, maybe it would have been better if we had brought the camp. Oh, our nephew has been released from prison. That's interesting enough. Just another person we barely know anything about. All right. Good enough. Now this guy owes us. Quite a lot, actually. He only has nine gold to give. We'll just... We'll just let that go for now. <laughs> I don't want to force that. Pounding hooves. We'll slow down for her. It's fine. We're becoming a lot less cruel over time. That's for sure. Now that we have a hundred... These two are quarreling. Mari is very quarrelsome oftentimes. Come on now. You guys you guys need to I'm gonna say you guys you guys need to calm down. You, you shouldn't be doing this. We do have these. Eyes in the shadow, eyes in the shadow. Hmm. And this of course is just prestige. We do always need more prestige. The last thing we could do, of course, is try to see if we can fish another contract. First, we will go to the tavern. Oh, hello. Hello. She's... This is not as much for a person that we would romance as somebody we would bring to our camp, and she's not really good enough for that, so we will listen to the story. And the great Leviathan destroyed the world a fifth time, dying in the process, but her body sprang. New land, plants, and animals. That story has some good points. Yes, it did. Uh, intrigue, lifestyle, experience, nice. Let's head back out. We should, hmm, should check and see if the town crier has anything for us. Stewardship, not our best. Just a car can be interesting. We do a travel transport. We do more transports. That could help us to, to find our way away, right? This is the Duchess. She wants... Valiant soldiers of fortune, every noble of the Duchess needs protection from bandits and accidents and welcomes the aid of experienced travelers. Okay, that could be us, right? That could be us. Delegation from Duchess Matilda of Tuscany saunters through the flaps of my great tent. Greetings, adventurer, speaks an envoy. Many are the roads of this world and treacherous. If you work for Tuscany, my liege would pay well for your expertise. You must carry to Milano. It's not that far. It's like, it's like right there. Isn't it? Isn't it like right here? Oh, it's a little okay. It's it's up. It's up in Lombardy. It's like into the mountains. I mean, we were talking about going into France and maybe even Spain. All right, well, let's bring the camp. That seems good. We'll start traveling. Let's head up that way. New places, new locations, new things to check out. Any women who rule in this region? We're always looking for lady rulers. So we can 
try our charms on them. Nope. But we stand as one. So what you're saying is, I either let Mir die and sacrifice himself for me, or I hit this horrible choice where I have 35% chance of dying. Demi, my friend, I have an idea. Don't you even say it. I, I could take some of the horse archers and we could harry them, lead them away. It would, it would save everyone and it would save you. No, impossible. Impossible. I am not leaving you here to die. My liege, I don't care what the chances are. We fight together. We fight together. Okay. <sighs> Unscathed. Ah, <laughs> ah, I hate clicking those. I hate clicking those. Uh, that could have been our moment. We're not ready to die. <laughs> I should head for my camp. We're also not ready to sacrifice our man for it. I feel like we changed a whole lot when we decided to be a gallant. Do this. We could use the prestige and the money. That's great. Is there any interesting jobs up here? It doesn't really look like it, to be fair. Yeah, Promising Prospects is next. So... We have money a little bit. The first thing we should do is we should go to our kids, go to you, and give you your money. It's a little higher now. Been some inflation. Give you your money. Then I think we're going to upgrade one of our troops. Going to be these horse archers. The only thing we really have to fill it with is provisions, which means we're starting to really need provisions, which is not great. I really don't want to take a job from Podesta Guido. I could do this job? Nah, this is nowhere near there. It's not him. He's literally dying. Let's see where he wants us to go. All right. We'll take this contract and he wants us to move to where? So closer and closer to Provence. Okay. It's the most west we've ever been. Sure. Let's move our camp. 263 money. Should probably look at upgrading our pavilion, maybe. It'd be a good idea. Transport. Escort emissary. Uh, we've done another excellent job, so that's another 80. The man we were just working for is down here, right? Is it you? Yes. So I would like you... Hmm. There's not a lot of missions here either, so why don't we... Move our camp to Nice. First, we're going to uh, increase our horse archers. Then we're going to use some of our provisions to deal with them. And I think we'll go for a hunt right here. Let's increase the success chance. I don't know if that's worth it. I'd really rather spend the minimum, but we will go for Slay the Beast. Start the hunt. Soon, we're going to have to probably pay him. Purchasing the rights is 15 gold. Yeah, that's that's easy. That's easy. Okay. Hopefully our success, a successful hunt will get us what we need. So let's, we're going to go after a row. Not great prestige. The little deer is not going to give us great prestige, but they will at least give us a good success chance. So we found some flowers. Give some medicine to Mir. We could ask if they're practicing witchcraft, which we would not care about. It's fascinating what flowers. We're stressed because we're hunters. I think we're going to tell them to get back on their horses. Yeah, guys, I'm sorry, but we're, we're here to find food, not... <laughs> not not medicine. You can mark the spot and come afterwards. We're not going to be leaving right away. Well, maybe not right right away at least. Talk later. Back on horse. Don't care about secrets. <laughs> okay. Want to proceed by stealth, so we will. It's a pretty pretty good chance we got there. Mir, where's Mir? So we'll get the doctor for him. Mir, did you seriously just fail a zero percent chance? Like, like. 0.5% chance to fail or something? Just wow. That was hardly worth the effort. <laughs> Fine. Whatever. We're going to probably have to suck it up then because we've been running on low per provisions for a long time. I think we are going to have to suck it up and visit the castle. And now that we're at the castle, 
We should brought. Oh, we could sell some artifacts. We do have this junky sponge. Take the sponge and a stick. We don't need it. How much are the supplies here? Too much. Too much. There is a mysterious criminal here. There is her. She's okay at stewardship. We don't have a lot of people who are good at stewardship. Who is that? Aside from stealing hearts, what else do you do? Why don't we take this someplace comfier? Let's... Do we want Brunhild? No, I don't think so. I think we're good. Is there anyone in range that we can grab a favor from? It says there's two contracts available. I have no idea where they are. Ooh, fire and friends. We will... We will participate in the joking. Life of the party. It always works out for us. Everything we do works out for us. If you ignore the fact we only have a thousand provisions and just failed an easy hunt. Make a quest interaction with this guy. He could give us provisions and we will take them because we are low. This is a fight corruption near here. I don't know where this is. Can you show me where this is? So fight corruption down here. Contract fight corruption. Okay, he's Marshall wants me to deal with some people down here in the south. Let's move the camp because that's probably best. I guess we're going to take the dangerous route. Let's take scout for talent off and maybe actually spend the four gold for some pathfinder gear just to see if we can make it safe. Let's go. Let's go. We are not doing great for provisions. <laughs> we're, we're not doing that great for provisions. That's that's the truth. We are down here in Provence. Still traveling around the Mediterranean. Okay. Silence, peasant. Silence, people or die. Silence your people or die. Uh, that's... Hmm. We're gonna lose... We're gonna lose the 60 guys. That's fine. Oh! We excelled, apparently. Alright. Did we lose the 60 guys? We did. We did. That's fine. We'll have to we'll have to get them back. Okay. What do you want me to do next? We could really, 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 really use the um <laughs> the provisions. It's gonna end up being the same as the last one though, right? These guys are basically telling us that they that there's been corruption, but we don't have a problem with this guy. He doesn't seem like a bad fellow. And you, you gotta control the people who are rebelling, right? Let's do it! Okay. We have excelled again. Good. Let's return here. Let's, uh... We've done this recently, right? Yeah. Try to scrape the barrel. Could seek volunteers. Who impress mercenaries. I mean, I don't think we need the 25 Ben that much. To be fair. About this, um... We got this guy. We could get a men-at-arms unit from him, which would be interesting. He is... Occitan. Meaning they have... I don't think they have any special unit. Yeah, I don't think they get any special unit. I mean, that's fine. Let's do it. He's giving us armored footmen. Nothing wrong with armored footmen. So do we want to go down into Spain? Do we want to go down into Spain? that That's the question. I mean, going at least as far as Barcelona could be nice, right? Although... We don't have to leave here right away. It's a Cornish woman. Yeah, she's gregarious. We do like Gregarious. Yeah, okay. He seems nice. Let's, uh, let's drop a little seduce. A little seduce while we're here. And while we're doing that, we can grab this contract. We'll travel over there. Hang out. We don't probably need this. Let's head over there. It's a knight errant. Ooh. So he wants us to go on a quest with him. He's... Adequate, I suppose. We could tell him to just join us. We could use another knight. 
Or we can do his journey. Let's do his journey. Don't fear, I shall fight the beast. I'll distract it. I can take the healing water for myself. Yeah, that's not, that's not what we want. Don't fear, I shall fight it. Ah, we killed the beast. Nice. That's one of the two beasts we've tried to kill. 50-50. Daughters learned a language, bettering Dauphine's name. So let's... Let's do even here. Let's, you know, usual people doing the usual work, right? Musician is Victor. Harold can be Mir the Compassionate. Great guy he is. And we can stick to cock the strong arm in. Nice. 22 days per phase. A faithful visitor. So you are a Catholic priest. You don't even like us. Stay the night and tell us of your stories. Yep, that's that's it. Get on. We don't need a Catholic priest. We already got a Byzantine monk. We don't need we don't need both. So with him, with that done, we were going to check to see if we finished it. We have we are a maximum wanderer. Nice. That is giving us a lot of benefits. Hey, kid, you excited to visit Iberia? Yeah, I'm sorry your mother died. That's actually quite sad, really. All these women have given us great children. We've barely known any of them. Eventually, we're going to have to do something about this. Eventually, the road is going to have to end. Jacob is about to get married. Apparently, he's sending nasty letters to his sister. Corridors of power. All right. Well, gold never goes amiss. We could take gold for a hook. We take provisions for a hook. 210 provisions is more important to me than that small amount of gold. I don't know what he plans to do with that hook, but it's fine. If we're now officially going down to Iberia, to the peninsula, to explore all the individual locations there, we will need provisions. We probably should be trying to push our provisions up higher. Another thought here is maybe we upgrade the camp again. We could get a new building, like the barber's tent. I think we're just going to do that. I think we've got plenty of money for that. And then maybe we increase the Coney. Yeah, I think that's good. We are almost ready to uh, to finish this mission. We're getting pretty good on prestige, really. We're not exalted among men yet, but we're going to get there. That's for sure. We still have a little bit of time on our little romance here too. this uh, this lady. Oh, 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 oh. She has died. She is now in charge. He is now the regent. That is a little sooner than I expected. I did not expect her to die this soon. That's, um, that means Jacob will be leaving the camp as soon as he comes of age. Interesting. He literally just came of age. He is an elusive. Sh oh, wow, kid. Good job. How did you get an elusive shadow? I'm not that good. <laughs> You're great. <laughs> good job, kid. Ah, camp life has really suited you. You are so smart. You're good. You're so good. Uh, Jacob, go. Jacob, you probably should go to your wife, I think. Probably the correct thing. Doesn't it kind of feel like we're leaving everyone we like behind all the time? That is now 100%. We will execute the scheme. Nice. So we've got success. We've made his, uh, his name better. We got some provisions. We got 100 and 14 gold, which we can definitely use. Hmm, crimes of passion. So you, you two are having a fight. I'm going to intervene, of course. Good. We put a halt to this. You guys need to not fight. Okay. Small but meaningful. Not every gift has to be a grand statement of wealth. Give her a silver locket. Stuffed fox. I think we're going to give her a silver locket. Yeah, yeah, they don't they don't always like everything you do. I'm sorry you didn't like the silver locket. Maybe it was a little bit too fancy. We have been known to be too fancy. <laughs> okay, now or never. Let's do this. Uh sweet and fleeting. One night and then we move on. I legitimately don't know if that was the right right choice. I actually kinda liked her. Cornish lady. Unusual. You 
can get married. Excellent. You. Goodbye, my boy. Goodbye, son. Goodbye, Jacob. It has been good to travel with you. It was nice getting to know you so well. You and your wife, you need to get rid of this regent. <laughs> she's got plenty of money and she's an adult and you, you can take care of her now. She, she absolutely, who is this dude? Why is the Prince of Jor- Oh yeah, you married her, didn't you? <laughs> you married her. What? You have cancer? That is the second time I've seen cancer in the same episode. Wild. You're not going to be around for long. I am super interested in what's going to happen. That's- that's um... That is- that is the definition of all good. It's all good up there. Well, we did that. That was successful. Raised our son, Jacob, and sent him super far away. Could make a request of you, could arrange a marriage. Let's see. I don't know if you're willing, but we have this daughter. She's real cute. We've got this kid, who's got a claim on those. We've got this kid. And we've got your son. You'll not marry your son to our daughter. Yeah, that makes sense. So, nobody. There's nobody you'll marry to our, our, our kids. Okay, well. Still, nobody out here taking me seriously. What is this job? To this count, this count, we get a weak hook. I think we do that. I think we do that. Let me deal with them. Silence your people or die, peasant. We, we're getting used to being cruel to these peasants. <laughs> uh, now, could you actually uh, marry your your young son? No, you won't do it. Hmm. Hmm. Not even for a hook. And after everything we've done for you, Dolphin Bertrand, Duke still thinks he's too much better than us. Hmm. You are in the county of Lyon. Way up there. But where do you want us to move this to? You want us to move to... There. Let's make haste. Let's do it. It's like super close. Okay, so our... Our guys are a little down now. Kind of like Demi, really. We could refill with provisions. We could recruit with gold. That might be the better choice. I think we recruit with gold. Fill those back in. Now this man, he does not like us. He does not like us. If he liked us... So you are in a war. What is your war about? You are in a liberty war. You're an ally. It's this guy's war. You are losing. That's not a thing we're going to get involved with. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Could send him a gift. I just don't know if it'll be enough. And it's all of our money. Let's check again how close it is with the hook. If we were to arrange a marriage between... If we pick a Catholic daughter, does that increase the chance? I wonder. It's 26 down. What's my chances of swaying him? Difficult. I mean, we have done work for the man. Let's try the sway. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. And while we're working on the sway, oh, we, get, we can do provisions again, which we will. Go and hunt. Nice. And that, I think, is going to be the end of this episode. Next time, we're going to work on making Dolphin Betrand II like us better. Mostly, we're going to probably give him a gift. We're, we could do this job. Uh, actually, before we leave, let's check. We can't actually really do that job. But we can visit the castle holding. I've been visiting only castle holdings. So it's just because that's where I've been... <laughs> this just feels like that's where I should be all the time. Uh, I should check to see if the town crier has anything. Collaborator. Ooh, intrigue contracts. Also, go to the inn. Might as well do the story. Um, you can pay her 30 gold. I think we'll do the story. That's fine. Maybe we should consider getting trained? There's a lot of money for a point of prowess. We could fight our man and become friends with him and maybe get prowess. Nice. That was definitely worth it. All right. 
So we're going to end this session right now. Everything seems to be going pretty well. And as I said, next time we're going to focus on trying to get this guy to let one of our daughters marry his youngest son. I think that is a good move for us. All right. Thank you for watching. And I hope you join us next time when we are here with Demetrius as he makes his way to Spain. And then after Spain, I think he returns to uh, Greece and starts working on trying to get himself a manor or a little piece of land. Okay. Goodbye for now.